Hi, my name is Gal Kruger, and today I'm going to be showing you how to work with cookies in Cure Wizard Pro load testing. So what is a cookie? A cookie, also known as a web cookie, browser cookie, an HTTP cookie, is a piece of text stored by the user's web browser. So let's take a look at how this works. So the first thing we need to do is we need to record a new script. To do so, we click on Record Load Test from the Script menu. I'll be choosing my CMS Online web application, and I'll hit Record to start the recording process. This will open up my web browser and the system will automatically browse to my web applications URL. I'm going to be clicking on the create cookie button on my web application. This will initiate and create a cookie and return a message saying that the cookie has been created. I'm going to go ahead and stop the script and Cure Wizard Pro will now display the script that we've just recorded. I'm going to go ahead and expand the information column in this script. This will simply display more information about each of these steps. Now we'll be taking a look at the last step that we've, was created. This is the web post. This is when we clicked on the create cookie button. So I'm going to right click and add a statement. I'm going to add the web get cookie statement. This statement will allow us to enter the name of the cookie that we would like to retrieve. So I'll enter the name called my test cookie, and then secondly, I need to enter the URL of my web application. Once we've entered the URL of our web application, we need to add the output variable where we'll be storing the value that this particular statement will retrieve from the cookie. I'm going to call that cookie result. I'm going to click on OK. Next, we need to take this value that we've just created called cookie result and we need to make this visible so I can show you what the results of the cookie is as it's been created. Again I'm going to right click and add a statement and this time I'm going to use the print line statement. I'm going to select that our value should be printed from an existing variable and I'm going to choose the cookie result variable that we've created in the previous step. I'm going to click on OK to add this statement. We are now ready to execute our load test. To execute it, we'll be selecting the run load test from the script menu. Once we've selected this, we need to select the script that we'd like to execute. So I'm going to add the script that we've just recorded. And once we've added the script, I'm going to use the defaults and click on run. This will now execute our script and it will be showing in the output window below the values from our cookies as they are being created by this load test. In addition to retrieving cookies created by a web application, Cure Wizard Pro also allows you to create a cookie. Now to do so, we need to right click and select add statement. Now we'll be using the web set cookie command. We'll need to enter the name of the cookie we would like to create. We will also need to enter the value that will be contained inside of this new cookie we are going to create. The value could be anything. I'm going to be using plain text as an example. We also need to specify the URL of our application. So in this case it will be the URL of our web application that we'll be running this test against. And then we can also choose if this uh, applies to any subdomains. I'm going to be using false and click on OK to add. I'm going to switch over to the text view to show you the same command website cookie in text view. You have now successfully created a script to retrieve a cookie as well as setting a cookie. For more information, please visit www.cpine.com.